Guys, make sure you're tuning in every Monday through Friday at 7.30 Eastern Time PM to the Sneak and Geek Live where you can interact with me and my audience on TikTok, Twitch, or YouTube. All right, I look forward to seeing you there. We are pushing engagement this week, okay? We believe that YouTube has put us in timeout. So before we get into this story, guys, make sure you're hitting the like button. Make sure you're uh, sharing the video out there to uh, to your fr- family and friends and this, that, and the third. Um, uh, and, you know, make sure you subscribe to the channel and the notification bell is turned on. We want to continue to grow the channel uh, because we need more platforms who are willing to speak out against some of the nonsense and cover some of the news that the... Uh, the mainstream media doesn't want you to hear. So, please like. Please subscribe. All right, so Tucker Carlson is now going to Twitter. Okay? This is interesting. Because as you know, Tucker Carlson was fired from Fox News. And, uh, let me see. Where's this video at? Where is this video? I'm trying to find the video. Uh, hold on. Did they scrub the video from the internet? Okay, so oh, let me see. Oh, here we go. Okay, here's the video. Here's the video. So we're gonna watch this video really quick. Um, strange, strange. All right. Hey, it's Tucker Carlson. Jesus. You often hear people say the news is full of lies, but most of the time that's not exactly right. Much of what you see on television or read the New York Times is in fact true in the literal sense. It could pass one of the media's own fact checks. Lawyers would be willing to sign off on it. In fact, they may have. But that doesn't make it true. It's not true. At the most basic level, the news you consume is a lie, a lie of the stealthiest and most insidious kind. Facts have been withheld on purpose, along with proportion and perspective. You are being manipulated. How does that work? Let's see. If I tell you that a man has been unjustly arrested for armed robbery, that is not, strictly speaking, a lie. He may have been framed. At this point, there's been no trial, so no one can really say. But if I don't mention the fact that the same man has been arrested for the same crime six times before, am I really informing you? No, I'm not. I'm misleading you. And that's what the news media are doing in every story that matters, every day of the week, Mm -hmm. every week of the year. What's it like to work in a system like that? After more than 30 years in the middle of it, we could tell you stories. The best you can hope for in the news business at this point is the freedom to tell the fullest truth that you can. But there are always limits. And you know that if you bump up against those limits often enough, you will be fired for it. That's not a guess. It's guaranteed. Every person who works in English language media understands that. The rule of what you can't say defines everything. It's filthy, really, and it's utterly corrupting. You can't have a free society if people aren't allowed to say what they think is true. Speech is the fundamental prerequisite for democracy. That's why it's enshrined in the first of our constitutional amendments. Amazingly, as of tonight, there aren't many platforms left that allow free speech. The last big one remaining in the world, the only one, is Twitter, where we are now. Twitter has long served as the place where our national conversation incubates and develops. Twitter is not a partisan site. Everybody's allowed here, and we think that's a good thing. And yet, for the most part, the news that you see analyzed on Twitter comes from media organizations that are themselves thinly disguised propaganda outlets. You see it on cable news. You talk about it on Twitter. The result may feel like a debate, but actually the gatekeepers are still in charge. We think that's a bad system. We know exactly how it works, and we're sick of it. Mm -hmm. Starting soon, we'll be bringing a new version of the show we've been doing for the last six and a half years to Twitter. We bring some other things, too, which we'll tell you about. But for now, we're just grateful to be here. 
Free speech is the main right that you have. Without it, you have no others. See you soon. And there you have it. That video has been that video has been viewed 113.6 million times, ladies and gentlemen. Go ahead, go ahead and drop my little engagement. Hey, it's Tucker Carlson. Oops. Oh shit. Excuse me, sorry. Uh, this person says you are right about everything you said, but the problem is that you are just as guilty as those you accuse of doing these things. How many times have you said narratives without telling all of the facts? You tell the facts that you want to use for your narrative while leaving uh, the exculpatory facts out. Are you willing to admit that? Elon Musk responds says on this platform, unlike the one-way street of broadcast, people are able to interact, critique, and refute whatever he or anyone may say. And of course, anything misleading will get community notes. Uh, I also want to be clear. This is what Elon is saying. I also want to be clear that we have not signed a deal of any kind whatsoever. Tucker is subject to the same rules and rewards of all content creators. Rewards mean subscriptions and advertising revenue share. Still working on software needed for the latter, which is a function of how many people subscribe and the advertising views associated with this content. I hope that many others, particularly from the left, also choose to be content creators on this platform. Well, there you have it. Um, so the reason why this is important, and we don't really do politics over here straightforward like that. We, we normally do politics in the context of the nerd world, you know, uh, movies, TV shows, video games, etc. However, this is important again because we want more platforms where we're not constantly, constantly being uh, silenced. Again, I talked about YouTube. We, we're, we're pushing engagement this week. But YouTube has a knack for pressing, I call it pressing the button on, on channels. I think the quartering just did a video on it maybe yesterday where he feels like somebody, you know, uh, started um, you know, not depressing, suppressing his video. Right now, if you put Dylan Mulvaney in the title of your video, your video's going nowhere. He's being protected. So on Twitter, if you post your videos on Twitter, and they do numbers, then you could, ex then hopefully, you know, you could have more growth there. The thing is, I haven't been posting my videos on Twitter because it's, I just don't feel like it's a whole lot of discoverability there. I could be wrong. Maybe I just gotta keep doing it and I gotta be consistent with it. Is that something that we should do? Let's go, let's go. Let me check up on TikTok. Anyway, we're gonna move on. Beat that thing down like you started attention, my baby. You had some plans with your man, just tell him to cancel, my baby. Slide to the curler like Dracula's mansion, my baby. When you pull up, it's on action, my baby.